Apart from Eleanor's two late brothers, Adrian and Nicky, to whom she was very close, Eleanor describes her elder sister, Harriet, her dating and loving nanny, as well as her maternal grandfather. Also, F. E. Smith, the Earl of Birkenhead, and his widow, to whom she and her family were deeply attached, we bring in as well as her paternal grandfather in the newspaper business, eventually inherited by her father and plagued by crippling strikes which shortened her father's life. One of Eleanor's funniest stories is entitled The Front Page. She was 14 at the time. She was once keen on the actor Peter O'Toole, who was incarcerated in a London hospital. Eleanor rang one hospital after another, inadvertently using the telegraph line in the italics and causing the Daily Telegraph itself to come out with a blank front page. Her parents were absolutely furious and Eleanor was made to learn masses and masses of Shakespeare. Not Eleanor's finest hour, to say the least. Eleanor inherits a very morbid streak from her maternal grandmother and attended village funerals as a child. For some reason, her mother told her that as a punishment, she would have to have French letters, which she hated. She took a girl from the village called Ruth Swithenbank, a friend of hers, to attend these funerals with her. And she said to Ruth, isn't it wonderful to see the coffin go into the grave? And Ruth only said, isn't the story of the princes in the tower sad? Eleanor was very disappointed. Eleanor also inherits a characteristic from her late maternal aunt, also named Eleanor, Eleanor Smith, who died during World War II and who was a prolific writer. Eleanor's aunt was preoccupied with gypsies and traveling circuses for some unknown reason. Eleanor Berry's family was plagued by one printer's strike after another on the family newspaper, and fear of bankruptcy made her childhood miserable. Frequently, her mother wept during meals because of this. Lastly, Eleanor was plagued by the loss of her beloved Peachy, and she's going to read this now. How is it? very kindly accompanied Eleanor to identify Peachy in the mortuary of a London hospital. His face had been transformed into a hideous mask, causing her to lose her temper with the mortuary attendant. I was only doing my best, said the mortuary attendant. I'm not interested in your blasty bloody best when your best Kitty isn't good enough, shouted Eleanor. Then Eleanor made this wretched man bend over a non-occupied slab and lashed him thoroughly with her stick. And he replied, I've never known anyone quite like you before. And Eleanor replied, because the grief hadn't set in, you see. Eleanor replied, don't worry, boy, I'll be back.